Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini, December 17, 2021. Venus enters your reputation and responsibility sector today, and Mercury heads into your intimacy sector. Venus will spend much longer than usual in this area until March 6, with some of this time in retrograde motion. You're bringing more creativity, grace, and charm to your work. There can be increased opportunities to socialize or network through your business or career. Important business relationships may develop during this cycle, or relationships with a parent, boss, or superior can improve. You are coming across as charming, helpful, and attractive, if a little distant emotionally. There can be increased ambition on a social level. People more readily recognize your artistry, taste, or creativity. It's a good time for publicity, but also for finding or creating more pleasure in goal setting. Your luck could turn around today as Venus enters Capricorn and Mercury enters Scorpio. Venus is now sweetening your sector of legacy, career, and public status. The Venusian energy is perfect for attracting beneficial partnerships and opportunities that capitalize on your professional development. Meanwhile, Mercury is able to strategize with transformation and investments in mind. The mercurial energy is perfect for brainstorming to immediately begin making progress with your new moon goals and manifestations. Together, Venus and Mercury can encourage you to seek out mutually beneficial arrangements that can drastically influence your professional development. Mercury's departure from your financial sector today might leave you with a smart head for money but it also ends all planetary activity on this side of the financial fence. This is good news for the planets in your income sector, but when it comes to your financial situation and money matters it is all about holding on to Mercury's smart head for money and ability to think on your feet. Your fiery nature will be faced with making up for time misused or accidental oversights of a few days ago. Something's not quite right, and you will have to look inward to find the cause of this disease. Are you eating well? Are you taking your rest as seriously as you should? Are you exercising to get rid of the stress of your workdays? Maybe all of the above has made you say things to other people you shouldn't have. Over two months after Mercury returned for what should have been a 14 to 15 day visit, the planet of communication not only leaves today but ends all planetary activity on the relationship front. What began with Venus return nearly three months ago has gone through quite a journey. One that has left you with a better sense of what you want from your relationships and what they need from you. Mercury leaves you with the means to keep the communication lines open. Over two months after returning for what is normally a 14 to 15 day visit to your relationship sector Mercury, the planet of communication not only leaves today but wraps up all planetary activity on the relationship front. What began with Venus return weeks before Mercury arrived runs its course today, leaving you with everything needed to take it from here. Today's sweet sextile between the moon in your erotic 8th house of intimate unions and powerhouse Pluto via your bossy 10th house of authority injects you with a powerful surge of inspiration, which naturally complements the presence of your go-getter planetary ruler, Mars, but there's more. Lady Venus celestial ruler of your committed 7th house of agreements, compromise, and one-on-one -on -one connections makes her dazzling debut in Capricorn and your public 10th house of notoriety. You're ready to commit. The real question is, where does your loyalty lie? Luna will square expansive Jupiter, so don't test your luck. The Taurus moon connects with Venus and Pluto, both in Capricorn, and then with Jupiter in Aquarius. These lunar connections could make us feel as though we're riding an emotional roller coaster throughout the day. However, the drama begins after sunset. Watch out for the witching hour, which can bring annoyances to the surface. The frustration could begin when the moon enters Gemini in the evening. The moon then opposes Mars while aligning with the North Node, bringing the finale of the annoyances that occurred yesterday. When Mars and the moon oppose each other, it can add explosive arguments that cause tension in close relationships. In this case, Mars in Sagittarius is ready to rumble and could be set off by something someone says. The connection with the nodes of destiny catches us with our hand in the cosmic cookie jar. Therefore, 
it's important to avoid saying regrettable things that will only come back to haunt you. This could be hard because there's a strong urge to meddle and interfere in other people's issues. There might be a chance we can sweet talk our way out of a situation, but only if we acknowledge our part in it and admit to any wrongdoing. In the morning, the Taurus moon forms a trine to Pluto in Capricorn, intensifying emotions. We can transform our circumstances by accurately assessing our psychological conditioning, behaviors, and patterns. Interactions with authority figures that might normally overwhelm us do nothing to shake our confidence. This influence can introduce faded new relationships or prove restorative to old relationships which we assumed had run their course. Following this, the moon trines Venus in Capricorn, stimulating harmonious interactions. Creative activities such as crafting, working with textiles, fabrics or beauty supplies, cooking, or gardening are favored. Our positive attitude and commitment to our relationships magnetically attract good company. Romantic encounters are improved, and family dynamics are relaxed, allowing everyone a chance to be their best selves.